somebody mispronounced a facility and calls it an Air Force base, and you don't correct him, you don't give them the opportunity to say, well, I misspoke, I I thought it was, I was told it was an Air Force base, so I believed it was an Air Force base. I live 34 miles from the front gate. I know C-130s take off and land at the facility. It's not an Air Force base, but it can land C-130s there, and it does. So put that Thank in you for that. You know, and stuff it. Drew, I have to say, of all, I have been interviewed over and over and over again with guys who are trying to deal with chat room situations, and you are the fairest-minded individual I have ever encountered uh, in a crossfire like this, and I really appreciate you, and you, I respect the hell out of you, man. I, would, I, I don't. I'm not going to go quiet tonight. I can. Uh, I bring the truth forward. If they don't like it, turn it off. And I'm going to let them. I'm going to let them talk. I'm still on one. Collect your complete. But when they come out and tell me that, well, there's no air force. That's for copies. Thank you. At this facility, well, I never said it was. I didn't. Well, and you just need to normalize space to ground too. No, I, I didn't think it was an air force base either. Copy I, and work. I didn't know uh, which branch of the military. I figured probably We're army copy. because we use it to gas our soldiers uh, in boot camp to get them to know what it's like. The mustard gas I'm speaking about specifically. So I knew that we had it. I knew the Army uses it, at least for training purposes. I don't know if any of the other branches of the military do. Um, But uh, so, no, if I said Air Force, you know, that was an unconscious uh, thing. And it's understandable because you you don't know. But the bottom line is that the Pine Bluff Arsenal is a storage facility for chemical warfare. And uh, uh, there is labs there. Uh, there's a large contingency of scientists that work there, and these aren't the scientists that you see getting the Peace Prize. These are <laughs> these are scientists with degrees in chemo- chemistry that create nerve gases that will kill you. Do you ever remember the movie The Andromeda Strain? Yes. Yeah. Well, this facility is basically uh, is the scare tactic that I would put forth on the Andromeda strain. That these people get really scary down there, and uh, you know when you meet one of the scientists out in town eating a steak dinner because he's he's loaded with something, some chemicals up his nose or smoking in his left-handed cigarette, uh, and uh, uh, I see these C-130s come you know come out of the the area down there. Uh, because they're flying just a little bit too darn low for this former United States Marine that knows how these planes take off and land. And uh, they, they run these test, these test flights here at Little Rock uh, International, or the Little Rock Regional Airport, and they, they do, and every time they run these test flights over here at the regional airport, they're running C-130s in the Pine Bluff. Uh, it's a gimme. The, the eight people that, that I know that work there, they, they know the truth that's going on down there, and they're scared to death about the chemicals that are located in Pine Bluff, Arsenal. So, uh, Colleen, uh, you, you know, don't worry about it. We, you know, we'll, we'll, it, it, you, you it, just I wear you I, wear the it, long grass, and we'll we'll make sure we got the baseball bat to go after everybody else. Hey, hey I'm a we'll be back boy. in five minutes. <laughs> it's commercial time. Okay. <laughs> My name is Drew Mon Reigns III, and uh, we've got a uh, hopefully. Uh, we uh, we've got somebody out there that'll capture the chat room because my my Megan girl just knocked me out of the chat room, and uh, we're kind of running around with our head chopped off. <laughs>